Hello, my name is Dr. Diwan S. Raja. Today I will discuss about the surface anatomy of the sciatic nerve. So, what are the points to draw a sciatic nerve? We have the posterior, superior, iliac spine. Okay, how can you identify posterior superiliac spine? Posterior superiliac spine is a dimple at the lower part of the back. It is around 4 cm lateral to the second sacral spine. Okay, it is about 4 cm lateral to the second sacral spine okay. then the, our second point should be between the ischial tuberosity and the greater trochanter of the femur okay between the ischial tuberosity and the and the greater trochanter of the femur so we go through that part ischial tuberosity and greater trochanter of the femur second point Okay, midpoint between the ischial diversity and the Ischial diversity and the greater trochanter of the femur. Greater trochanter of the femur. Trochanter of the femur. Okay. We have third or identifying point is the junction between the upper two third and lower one third of the of the thigh back of the thigh okay junction between the upper two third and and lower one third of the back of the thigh of the thigh okay we go to this midpoint of okay. mid point so if we draw this point posterior superiliac spine midpoint between the ischial diversity and the greater trochanter of the femur and the horizontal line that passes between the upper two third and lower one third of the back of the thigh okay thigh midpoint if we draw the line we'll go to draw the sciatic nerve it goes a bit laterally almost the medial on the on the middle of the back of the thigh okay we got the surface anatomy then we have to know the importance we have the intramuscular injection intramuscular injection site injection site Side on the gluteal region. Gluteal region. This is very important because gluteal region is an important site for intramuscular injection because we have big space for muscle. We have big muscle and big space for injection, intramuscular injection, so that the 
the injectable substance will be absorbed nicely but it should not damage the sciatic nerve okay so the the ideal place for intramuscular injection site is the upper and outer one foot of the buttock okay that can avoid the avoid the the sciatic nerve so there will be no sciatic nerve damage usually the common fibular part is affected because the fibers are more superficial and that is mostly affected in case of intramuscular injection this is one of the important cause of sciatic nerve damage okay we got that we have another importance of the surface anatomy is the sciatic nerve block sciatic nerve block this is done to do some surgery especially in the in the muscles or structure below the knee joint because the entire muscles below the knee are innervated by the by the tibial nerve and the and the fibular nerves these are derived from the sciatic nerve okay site of nerve block is usually okay that is we to find out the the midpoint between a line drawn okay so the midpoint between a line drawn between Okay, so I have to say midpoint between a line drawn through the posterior superior iliac spine is one point. Okay, and the midpoint between the okay and the midpoint of the ischial diversity of the ischial diversity tuberosity okay so block is given by local anesthesia around 2 to 3 centimeter lateral lateral to the to the midpoint between a line drawn line drawn through the posterior superior spine and midpoint of the ischial diversity if you like to inject local anesthesia 2 to 3 centimeter of that midpoint then we can give a the the sciatic nerve block and we can do some surgery in the lower limb so that's all about the surface anatomy of the sciatic nerve if you have any question please feel free to ask me and have a nice day bye now